guys, today's video is all about my own personal experiences teaching high school special education versus elementary education. If that interests you, then make sure you keep watching. Hi guys, my name is Samantha. If you are new to my YouTube channel, I am the owner of Teach, and my channel is all about helping special education teachers with teaching tips, teaching um, life experiences like this video, um, behavior management, things like that. So if you are interested in that, please click the subscribe button and click the little bell to turn on notifications. All right, let's get into today's video. I am making this video for teachers who maybe want to have a career change, teachers who have questioned if they are teaching the correct grade level, and also for hopefully maybe college students, people that are going into teaching and still deciding um, what level of special education teachers they want to be. So keep watching this video to maybe get some ideas of what grade level might be best for you. Make sure you take this video very lightheartedly because these are my own experiences in two different schools and you have to keep in mind that everyone has different experiences and different school systems that they work for. As you know, every school is very, very different. My experiences might be different from your own or even different from experiences you might have later on in your life teaching a certain grade level. And also a big thing to factor in is your personality type because I do feel like certain personality types fit better with elementary students um, rather than high school students or working with high school students maybe fits your personality more than elementary. So when I first started out, I started out as a high school teacher and I just want to tell you that I absolutely loved it. And again, this is my own experience. So the number one thing that I loved about being a high school special education teacher was honestly that I could be brutally honest with my students. I have a really hard time sugarcoating things. Working with high schoolers, I just feel like my personality really meshed with them. Another great thing about teaching high school special education is helping students with their life plans after high school. It is seriously the most rewarding thing in the world to be help, to help a student figure out what they are meant to do in this world or what they're going to do after high school. I also think that I definitely had better relationships with my high schoolers because we could go so in depth about their life and what they wanted. And just being high schoolers, they're obviously more mature and I guess you could say they can hold more conversations than younger children can. Another thing that I really enjoyed about teaching high school was how their IEP goals were more based on life skills things. So like their math goals might be more based on budgeting or money. Um, rather, when I was teaching elementary, most of their goals were more academic based. So as you can imagine, a lot of my day was spent teaching life skills and things that were like really rewarding because the things I was teaching were things that I knew my students would for sure use in their lives after high school. Another pro to teaching high school special education is that there are defined periods throughout the day. So like first period, second period, third period, and so on. Where elementary, it's kind of just a whole day and every teacher has their own schedule. I'm more of like a schedule based person. Like my elementary days, they were still really planned out, but I just like kind of the feeling of, okay, here's first period, who's here's what I'm going to teach. Okay, here's second period, here's what I'm going to teach. I think the structure actually was really great for students with special needs too, because they know like, okay, I go here, then I go here. Another thing that I really enjoyed about teaching high school was that I had the potential to keep a student from anywhere from four to six years, which really gave me the chance to get to know that student and build a great relationship with them. And it obviously it depends on the school that you're teaching at. When I taught elementary, I only taught first grade students with special needs. Um, so then when they moved on to second grade, I typically, I mean, I would see them again in the school, but I didn't really get to teach them again. And I thought that that was a huge dis disadvantage because it takes a lot of time to get to know a student. So it's kind of nice to be able to keep them for many years because you already know them and you already know their learning styles and what academic levels they're at. So that was another really great part of teaching high school. Again, some elementary schools are different and you are the special education teacher for a student the whole entire time they're at elementary school. So again, it just depends on the job. Here is one more pro that comes with teaching high school special education. Typically parents who have students with special needs, by the time their kids are in high school, 
they have come to the realization that their students do have a disability. And when you're teaching elementary, sometimes you're the bearer of bad news and some parents have a really hard time with realizing that their child truly does have a disability. So a pro to being a high school teacher, is parents at this point have come to terms with their students having a disability and they are used to going to IEP meetings and they know what to expect and they're more realistic than I guess I would say parents of students who are at the elementary level. It's totally understandable, but that is just one pro that goes along with being a high school teacher. All right, now I want to get into the cons of being a high school teacher and then we'll get into elementary after this. So the number one con that I think being a high school special education teacher is seriously how busy you are. And yes, it can be super overwhelming. Like I was working all the time, but honestly it was so rewarding though, like what I was doing that it was worth it. But to someone that might be a huge con. You have a lot more responsibility as a high school teacher, especially if you have like a work experience program, you have to figure out all the schedules of when your students are going to go to work. You also have the living, learning, working portion of the IEP to think about. There are also more scheduling issues due to students having to be in certain classes at certain times and everyone's classes being different, whereas elementary, you will have five students that are in the same class. So you can get them all in at the same time. But at the high school level, every student is going to a different class. So it can be a little complicated. Here's another con that maybe is a con for certain, for a lot of people, but I enjoyed it, um, were the teenage hormones. You can sometimes have a lot of drama when teaching high schoolers, um, a lot of emotions. Um, so that can be a con, but again, it can be a pro because that is where your meaningful relationships come in with your students and you really build those strong relationships with students when you help them through those hard times. But with elementary students, you typically don't have those raging hormones that teenagers do. Another con of teaching high school is that there might not be a curriculum available. So when I was teaching high school math life skills class, there really wasn't a curriculum. There were some worksheets I could use, but truly I was creating everything from scratch. And it was overwhelming, but it was also great too because I could teach what I wanted following the state standards, but I could teach it how I wanted. So there is some freedom there, but with freedom does come a lot more work. And lastly, my other con to teaching high school is that behaviors can be bigger and potentially more violent because students are bigger. That can definitely be a hard part, the hard part of teaching high school. Let me add one more thing. So one other thing that can be very challenging when teaching high school is the academic gap that students have. So at the high school level, I found that students are way more academically further behind. Um, whereas elementary students, they may only be a few grade levels behind, um, but I do see at the high school level that the academic gap is definitely growing. So it is harder to modify gen ed curriculum with students at the high school level. So that is kind of why you might have to do your own thing at the high school level. All right, let's get into the pros of teaching elementary school. So one of the biggest pros that I saw was that you, you might see a lot more academic growth in students who are elementary aged. At the high school level, I did feel like students were learning the same thing for a long time and that's okay, progress can be small, but um, at the elementary level, I did notice that academic growth was easier to see, I guess. Next pro to teaching elementary is that you can mold and shape students at the start of their lives. They're young and you can kind of shape and really be a big part of who they become in their lives. That is really cool. Another pro to teaching elementary, like I kind of mentioned, is that there is more curriculum available to students at the elementary level and it is a lot easier to modify the gen ed curriculum since students might only be academically behind their peers by one or two grades. Another pro that I noticed when teaching elementary school, and maybe this is a con for some other people, but this was a pro for me, was that you get to work a lot closer with gen ed teachers. At the high school level, gen ed teachers are pretty into their own subject that they are teaching, which is totally understandable. That's what they teach all day. 
Um, where elementary teachers, you know, as an elementary teacher, special education teacher, you just work very closely with the gen ed teachers to figure out scheduling. You really are more like sharing students. Whereas at the high school level, I was the main teacher. At the elementary level, I was kind of the supplementary teacher, I guess you could say. Another thing that I think a lot of people go into teaching, maybe a little bit because of this, is that young, young children are just cute. They say fun and cute things. You know, they bring a smile to your face every single day they're adorable where older kids they can be cute but they're just not as cute as young kids I think you can understand that <laughs> another pro to teaching elementary school special education is that I've noticed that there's a lot less frustration than there is at the high school level I think when students are young and fresh into school they kind of they don't truly understand that they are behind academically like students who would be coming to my classroom, they were so excited to come to the special education classroom. Where like, I think as students maybe get older, there might be a negative connotation towards coming to the special education room, which of course there shouldn't be, but I think that that's just how it is sometimes. So again, students don't really realize that they're behind academically, where at the high school level, most students understand that they are behind academically. So that can lead to frustration. One more pro that I noticed when I was teaching elementary school is that gen ed teachers are a lot more willing to modify curriculum and help try to meet the needs of our students in special education, where high school teachers, I didn't notice that really at all. That might be because there was such a huge academic gap, so I get that. All right, let's get into the cons of teaching elementary special education. So one con that I definitely noticed was having to, I guess, teach um, simple rules and repeat myself over and over and over and over again with those rules. But that, that's whether a student is receives special education services or does not receive special education services. Um, at the elementary level, you're teaching students to follow rules, to line up, to wash their hands, just simple little things like that that I think you need more patience for. The next thing that really, really bugged me was the whining. I felt like there was whining all day long and that was so, so hard for me because you know, I have kids at home that whine a lot too. So it was hard to go to school and listen to whining all day and then come home and listen to whining. So that was hard, um, but again, so that doesn't bother some teachers and that's just a teachable moment. Um, you just really have to have patience. To go along with that, there was definitely more crying at the elementary level too. I saw students crying at least every single day. At the high school level, you would see a kid who was crying for a real, you know, emotional reason. Where like at the elementary level, you have a kid who is crying because someone else has the blue crayon and they want the blue, blue crayon. So again, you have to have patience at the elementary level. Something else that I listed on my cons list for elementary school teaching, um, but maybe, maybe it doesn't bother you, is that IEP goals are mainly focused on academic things that are at a certain grade level. So like this student will, by the end of the year, this student will be at a first grade reading level rather than like more of a functional goal, which I really enjoyed writing functional goals because they felt more real world to me, where this was more like standard, standards-based goals, minus like their OT, PT, SLP, all those kind of things. So that's kind of something that I saw as a negative to teaching elementary. Then another pro to teaching elementary, again, I kind of mentioned this in the high school cons, what, um, is that some parents truly have not come to terms with their students having disabilities, which I can't even imagine. It would be very, very hard. Uh, so that can, that can be kind of tough when you have parents who might not believe that their child has a disability coming to IEP meetings um, and just trying to talk those parents through what reality is. That's something that I never saw at the high school level. So you might actually be the bearer of bad news to a parent that their child has a disability. Lastly, one more con to teaching elementary special education is that is finding time to work with students. Like I said, at the high school level, they have time periods. So you know when you're gonna work with certain students at certain times, but at the elementary level, every, every teacher has a different schedule. So you have to, figure out when will work best for these teachers. And I did feel like I was pulling students out uh, at certain times that they really probably shouldn't have been pulled out of classrooms um, because they missed out on times with their peers or other academic things. 
and there just wasn't enough time in the day for them to get that instruction from their gen ed teacher and their special education teacher. So that was really hard. That was hard for me. And I already said this, but you have to have patience if you're going to be an elementary teacher. You have to. A lot of people, when they're like, oh, you're a special education teacher, you must have so much patience. Like, I wouldn't consider myself to have a ton of patience. And but I, I felt like I was a great high school teacher, but when I was an elementary teacher, I did see myself like running out of patience a lot. So drum roll, I'm going to announce what I personally liked, but remember you have to take into account your own personality and every single school is different. I only taught in two different schools, so that's all that I know. But I absolutely 100% loved being a high school teacher more than anything in the whole world and that is where my heart lies. I love teaching the life skills. I love being able to plan my students' future and I just really truly felt like I could get to know my students and build stronger relationships with them. But do not make your decision based, based on me. I just wanted to share my experiences to open your eyes a little bit to see both sides of teaching. So do what you want to do, become whatever kind of teacher you want to be. I'm sure you'll make a difference in the lives of any aged child that you try to. I really truly hope this helped someone. If you like my video, please give it a big thumbs up. Comment down below if you liked my video or what you want to see next. I just really want to get to know my audience. I just love helping you guys and I would love to get to know you. So follow me over on Facebook and Instagram in my Facebook groups that are linked down below in the description of this YouTube video. There's also some freebies in the description of the YouTube video as always. And I hope you all have a great week. Happy teaching guys.